Welcome back my radical sushi munchers to another installment of where I teach you how to use a Warframe. You buckaroo bonsai is ready for this? Today we're going to be talking about Nyx. She's so sexy she mind controls you into staring at that juicy ass. I mean monetization friendly content. We'll start from the top with her passive. All of Nyx's abilities have a chance to disarm any enemies with an affected radius. This ability sounds great if it wasn't a chance, and was guaranteed. It would really be great if we got an actual percentage as to how these enemies were affected. But no, enemies affected by Nyx's abilities may suddenly put down their weapons. Like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Now we move on to her main abilities. And as you have probably guessed already, we are gonna be using the term CC otherwise known as crowd control a lot in the coming minutes because that is what this bad girl is all about. Mind control is Nyx's first ability, and in many ways is the light version of her third ability. It takes control over a single enemy for 30 seconds based when max rank. While the target is under Nyx's control it is immune to friendly fire, though it will be stored and dealt to the target when the duration ends. It will also share all its abilities and auras with Nyx and her allies. This includes things like Shield Osprey's Shield Charge, and the auras from Ancients. Nyx can only have one target mind controlled at once and if the target gets radiation procced from any source, it will end the ability early. In my opinion this ability's primary use is generating another source of aggro and to obtain powerful buffers to your squad like the Ancients. Psychic Bolts is essentially a magic blast that deals a tiny bit of damage, and in the heat of fire you really won't find yourself using this ability, especially since it does flat damage, and only scales with mods. However at low level I guess this could be slightly fun, launching enemies back. But other than that, this ability is trash and should be replaced with something else, considering she is a CC frame and not damage. Now we come to the bread and butter, the reason you would play Nyx in the first place. Her third ability is called Chaos and does exactly what the name suggests. Chaos projects images of Nyx on all enemies within a 25 meter radius for 25 seconds making all enemies within the casting radius indiscriminately attack each other and generate aggro from other unaffected enemies nearby. Unlike mind control however, enemies will not see Nyx as an ally, and will still attack her or her teammates if no other target is present or closer. Chaos is a stellar CC ability that will take the pressure off of Nyx and her allies, giving them time to do objectives and move about the map without the fear of angry mobs gunning them down. Another thing that Chaos does just like Loki's irradiating disarm is shutting down buffers. Since enemies will not buff units that are considered hostile, particularly useful in infested and corrupted missions to remove the damage reduction aura from ancients. Nyx's fourth ability, Absorb, suspends Nyx in a meditative state where she will be locked in place and be completely immune to damage and status effects while channeling, as well as allies are invincible while standing in her radius. All damage that Nyx takes during the duration she is channeling will be stored. This damage will then be released in a rather tiny 10 meter radius upon the ability cancellation. Unfortunately this ability deals magnetic damage, drastically hampering its realistic usage as a damage ability. As a side note allies can shoot into the bubble as well to contribute damage. This will drain energy at an alarming rate however, even at maximum energy efficiency. For my build, I went all range and duration, combined with health and shields. Considering her damage abilities scale off strength, and since she's not a damage frame, it makes sense to ignore these. I chose to run one augment, which is absolutely not needed. That's a simulate, for her fourth ability which allows Nyx to roam freely at half speed. Slightly useful and useless at the same time, as my last thoughts. Nyx has many of the same problems as Vabond does in that she does CC very well and not really much else besides being hard to kill if you build around her for. In an age where newer frames have CC on top of other strong attributes, 
Pure CC just doesn't cut it anymore, and to add insult to injury Vlad came out with mind control abilities taking the last little drop of niche and uniqueness that Nyx had and booted it out into the gutter. Alright my little pumpkin pies, my time has come to an end here, it's time for me to leave you to your own, as always, get lost.